This month I'm looking at managing boundaries and delegation. Where boundaries are, where we've identified what the priorities are for us in life, both at work and outside of work, and how we establish those boundaries to make sure we don't get overworked or that we're working on the right things and we're making time for the right things in the work that we do. And similarly, putting boundaries in place to make sure that work and life are equally balanced, which was the topic for last month. So why is it that we don't always manage our boundaries as effectively as we need to? So recently I was working with a client who, when we were discussing managing her boundaries and how she was doing, she spoke about how once when she'd been putting boundaries in place, someone accused her of practicing Tai Chi, pushing stuff away, and it felt uncomfortable and um, resonated with her. But as we continued to work on her boundaries and the impact of not having them firmly in place, she started to recognize that actually she needed to be a proud Tai Chi master. She needed to be comfortable and confident in asserting her boundaries and pushing away the work that wasn't hers and delegating the work that wasn't hers in order to service the priorities that were most important. So why else don't we manage our boundaries? Sometimes it's just simply the fact that we don't like to say no and that we aim to please and we take everything that comes towards us. Sometimes I hear clients say that they want to be seen by the team as pulling their weight. Sometimes it's just the fact that perhaps we've been promoted and some of the work that we do that used to be the old role is just more comfortable and we feel more comfortable in the operational than possibly say the big picture work or the strategic work that we're not as confident in doing and so we kind of busy ourselves in the stuff that is our comfort zone. So what is the impact of this? If we're not managing our boundaries, then we're not really spending our time on the uh, work that is most important to us. We're not giving the best version of ourselves. And as such, we risk being passed over for promotion if we're not looking up and uh, doing the strategic elements or looking at what elements of the role above us we might want to try and pull ourselves into. And similarly, if we're not doing the big picture work that's important in, say, market penetration, then potentially the competitors may take advantage of that. And again, we all lose out. So we do need to think about how, we are, how well we're doing in terms of being a proud Tai Chi master, in terms of establishing our boundaries, and also in terms of then thinking about how we delegate the elements that uh, we no longer feel are our responsibility. How do we set people up for success in the, in the areas that we've passed on? And how do we ensure that if they aren't successful the first time round, we don't take that work back as our first response, but instead continue to practice good delegation until we get it right? So if you are too busy, uh, you're not, you, know, you don't feel you have the right work-life balance, you don't feel you've established your boundaries and you're not protecting your boundaries, and you're not getting delegation right, then perhaps it's time to step back and reflect on what you need to do about that. So as always, if this is of interest, please get in touch and I'd be delighted to have a conversation.